Hello, Patrick Walchuk here, and we're going to present you with a financial analysis of a building that we've selected. Uh, this is a property that sold in July of 2023, and we're making a little bit of a difference here in terms of the way we usually present these to you. Uh, we usually present them so that there's a 35% down payment, and then we show uh, how the building did, cash flow, negative, positive, that kind of thing. So instead, we're going to tighten things up and just show you what it takes as a down payment for a property to have a, at least a small positive cash flow. So starting right off the top, we selected a, a central Ottawa building that has four units in it, and it was listed for a million three eighty, and it sold for one million three sixty. So that's roughly three hundred and forty thousand dollars per unit. It had a scheduled rental income of almost eighty two thousand dollars, deducting for vacancy and bad debt. <clears throat> the ERI on it was $79,000. Operating expenses were stated to be about $18,000. And then the total operating expenses, when we include maintenance and management into the equation, would be um, just a, a tad under $26,000. <clears> so that gives us an NOI of $53,647,000. Let's find out what that means. So it gives us a cap rate of 3.94, which really isn't that bad for this kind of location, actually. Um, the operating expense ratio, about 33%. So, you know, you might assume that being in a more central part of the Ottawa, it's an older building, which it was, and that operating expense ratio is not too bad at all either. It sold for 17 times its gross, 25 times the net. Now, in order to achieve at least a small positive cash flow, small positive ROI, the buyer would have needed a minimum of a 47% down payment, not insignificant. And that translated to be about $640,000 cash to make this happen. <clears throat> and that's based upon uh, obtaining a mortgage at 5.5% with a 25 year AM. And that's what it is. And the monthly payments are 4,400. So our annual debt service on that mortgage is about closing in on $53,000. Our cash flow at the end of the year is 847, which gives us a very tiny positive, positive ROI of 0.13. Thank you for watching.